Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Morning Makes. This one is being filmed on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I am so sorry that I missed uploading my episode yesterday. You guys, I came down with a horrible stomach bug on the early hours of Wednesday morning, and uh, I have just been laid up, so um, I'm doing better. Yay! <laughs> And I finally got to sit at my craft desk yesterday. I want to thank everybody that was checking on me this week, um, wondering where I was at. <laughs> and uh, just, uh, I was dealing with some things behind the scenes, and I am going to do this video as well as a second video. Um, and both of these videos today are going to involve release information. This uh, this episode of Saturday Morning Makes has some releases for Peachy Cane stamps. And then I'm going to do a secondary video that's going to talk about um, the LOTV Digi Shop. So Lily of the Valley Stamps in the UK and uh, their Digi Shop on Etsy because there is a release coming to their shop on Friday, August 12th. And uh, I also want to update you on some things with the two new sets that are out of uh, the two new U.S. sets that are out, the Festive Definitions and the, the um, Recipe Tags. So I'll be doing a second, a second video in a little bit, but I'm going to start today with my Saturday Morning Makes video, but on a Sunday. And uh, so fun to um, <laughs> finally been able to sit at my craft desk yesterday afternoon. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I just, I just am still trying to get all my strength back, but so happy that it was just a flu bug and not COVID. So everybody out there that's been fighting COVID or just fighting any um, health issues, my, my heart is with you. It's not fun to be sick. So um, I wanted to start by sharing this beautiful card that I got from my friend Sue. Sue, I found the card finally. Um, it did get stacked with some other items that I had been I had brought down here to film and I just didn't realize it was in between two two different stamp sets. So I was so happy to find your beautiful card and now I get to share it. So I don't know if you guys follow Sue Crozier over on Instagram, but she is a faithful Saturday morning maker and she makes the most beautiful cards using dyes from Spellbinders and um, various companies uh, that have stitching dyes. And uh, these are um, this card here that she just sent is a beautiful background that she has stitched and I love how she did this there's cream thread then there's orange thread and then she has a tricolor thread or a multi variegated thread and uh, she sewed the background and then she added these beautiful leaves which have incredible um, indentations in them they're very lifelike I really like that and then the word hugs and uh, I love how she added the gold um, sequins in different sizes, little ones around the outside and the bigger ones in the middle. Um, and it just makes the card sparkle. So just a work of art. I think this would be beautiful framed, Sue. Honestly, I might frame it and hang it upstairs in my room. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. So if that wasn't enough, she wrote me a beautiful note. It says, this is from July 6th. So understand you guys, this this was sent a while ago and I just misplaced it, but she says, Hi, Jill. Thanks so much for your encouragement and love in our community. Hope you can use this. Hug Sue Crozier. And she sent me this beautiful, and you know Woodware is a wonderful company that I just love, but she sent this beautiful stamp set. Let me pull this down so you can see. Um, it's a clear stamp set. And uh, it has this beautiful recipe. It says, recipe for a great day, a pinch of patience, a dash of kindness, a spoonful of laughter, and heaps of love. Isn't that the truth, you guys? That makes a wonderful day. And then I like this one. Be a whisk taker. Lick the spoon. <laughs> and then baked with love. So these are perfect for this time of year, especially the baking ones. And uh, I just think this recipe for a, a great day is such a sweet one. So those would be so, this recipe would be so cute tucked into one of the bowls from Anna White's um, dye line. She has these three bowls. And I think this would be really cute tucked into the bowl. You could um, cut the bowl out of like a pretty flowered paper and then tuck this in it and send it to a friend. So um, I'm excited to use this, Sue. Thank you so much for the beautiful card and for sending it to me. And there's Sue's name, Sue Crozier if you wanna go look for her over on Instagram, okay? And she always shares the most beautiful cards and she is such a faithful Saturday morning maker, so I really appreciate it. 
<clears throat> and I appreciate all of you that upload. I'm sorry I'm behind on looking at things. I just was down for the count for a couple days, like really bad, and then it's taken me a couple days more to really get my strength back. So <clears throat> let me take a quick sip of water because my voice is still not great. All right, and I thought I would show you. I did add a sentiment to my card from last Saturday. So this is my card from last Saturday with these adorable inky antique stamps. And I ended up adding this sentiment. It's a marshmallow world in the winter. And then I also put a sentiment on the inside that says, tis, tis the season to drink cocoa and eat cookies and sing happy songs. So I just think this turned out so cute. And I'll show you um, the stamp set that I used to do that is this Darcy set. It's called Cookies and Cocoa, and it's POL338. Darcy's has a website you can go to. It's darcysheartandhome.com. Okay, there's the information. And I love their, their sets. And um, they do both red rubber and photopolymer. And uh, if you follow Gigi, my friend Gigi, hello Gigi, um, Gigi often buys kits from them, or she has shown kits from them in the past, so you could search her channel. Gigi is agape for Gigi here on YouTube. But they also do beautiful kits, um, and the kits usually come with the red rubber stamps. So you, um, look at their website. I This is, um, I'm trying to see what year. This one's from 2016. And a lot of my stamp sets, like I said, you guys, I buy stuff and then I just keep using it and using it and using it. Um, so these are older sets. I don't know if they're still available. That's the only thing. But Darcy's comes out with Christmas sets every year. So um, if this particular one isn't available, she'll have other things that are just as wonderful. So um, anyway, I wanted to come on and show you that. And I did add some little red into here just to tie in the red that's in the card. And I thought that really helped the sentiment to kind of pop out a little bit. So um, so that's that. That's from last week, and that's the beautiful card from Sue. And I'm going to set those aside now, and I'm going to move on to the release for Peachy Keen. <clears throat> so Peachy Keen <clears throat> is releasing a set of three gingers, okay? And they include the dye for the frosting hair. So I'm going to show you. This is what the, the stamp, um, the dye, not stamp, the dye set looks like, okay? And it's called Open Ginger Dyes and Frosting Hair Dye. And uh, this is um, the packaging. So you can make boy gingers or girl gingers. And of course, you can put little bows in their hair, which would be absolutely adorable. But I wanted to show you the product just the way it comes. So you're going to get these dyes inside the package, okay? So it's a set of three gingers. And, uh, and then it includes this plate dye, which has all the hair for the gingers, all three girl hairs and all three boy hairs. And um, it's just such a fun dye set. And specifically, uh, this is for like when you want to make families of gingerbread and it gives you everything you need to do that in one dye set. And uh, so again, this is what they look like when they're put together. And uh, this is just one way you can put them together with the hair, but you can also use them without the hair. You can do the hair with paint and glitter like I often do. There's lots of different ways to use these. Um, and uh, for those of you that don't have a gingerbread die set, uh, this is just a great set because it has all the pieces and it has the three sizes. So you can do a mama pop, a little, you know, a, a teenager ginger, a little baby or ginger, and make ginger families. So um, a lot of fun. And uh, I'm so excited that uh, Kathy came out with this. Hello, Kathy. Thank you so much for putting out this set. And so while I was playing with this uh, last night, I uh, used my Peachy Keen Stamps, the PK3000 Jill's Favorites Assortment. And uh, I love that this has the cheeks in different sizes in it. And it also just has a, an assortment of um, faces that I've used on a variety of things through the years. There is... Um, uh, a video of the release of this stamp set on my channel. You can search for it if you want and uh, from when this came out. And uh, this is just one of my favorite sets to keep on my desk all year round for when I need a quick face. And it, and it has all the different sizes in it, including these little teeny tiny faces that fit on the tiniest gingers. So um, lots of fun. So I use that. And uh, of course, I use the new set that she sent. And let me just kind of move these aside a little bit. 
All right, and I will show you the different size gingers, okay? So first of all, you know I love tiny gingers. They're my favorite. <laughs> so I was playing around at first with just the little hair that she sent, and I haven't added glitter or sparkle to any of these yet. I just used paper, you know, cardstock and a white gel pen and then my little peachy keen faces. But I just love how this littlest size turns out. And I tend to use these as tucks into things like stockings and coffee cups, hot cocoa mugs, um, on plates at the side of a hot cocoa mug. So these can be used for so many different things. A little ginger is always a good thing to have. And they also look really cute decorating your envelopes at Christmas. You can glue one or even tape one to the envelope too. So they're a lot of fun to use. This one has the little girl hair glued to it. This one has the little boy hair glued to it. And just if you're wondering, these particular ones, this one is actually cut out of a, of a lightweight chipboard and it's a thinner weight chipboard. These two are actually cut out of craft cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And then I used Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress Ink as well as a brown ink called Chocolate. Um, to just, I took the tea dye ink and I ink daubered the whole thing in tea dye ink and then I took the brown ink and I just did the edges just to kind of define the edges of, of the cookies a little bit. So that's how I got the coloration that I have here. So tea dye ink, tea dye distress ink, and then the, uh, just a chocolate brown or dark brown ink, a little tiny bit, just and just bring it in on the edges very slightly. And I just use a finger dauber, and you guys have seen me use these before. So, um, you know, you just very lightly bring it in from the edges to do the darker part, and then you just dauber the whole thing with the tea dye ink, if that makes sense. So if you're wondering how I achieved the color, that's how I did it. But um, I just think these are so cute. So those are the tiniest ones. And then, um, let's see. What did I do? Um, these are the middle size ones. And I didn't add any bows or anything because I just wanted you to be able to see what they look like. And these are just using white gel pen without the hair. So I didn't use the hair dye on these ones. I just used little faces from my set and a white gel pen just to kind of decorate them up. And I've been playing around with just different ways to decorate them by doing a straight line, curvy line, and then I'll show you the bigger size. <clears throat> I did um, a jagged line all the way around. So you can do these so many different ways. You can draw the buttons, you can definitely glue buttons on, um, but I just wanted today to just show you the die set, just plain, with just a gel pen and then the pieces of the hair that come with it. And uh, I just think they turn out so cute. <laughs> you can't help smiling at a gingerbread family. And then I was playing with this paper. Um, I started to make a card and then I thought it might be easier for me to leave them off the card so that I could hold them up to the camera and you could really see each one. Um, but I found this paper, which is a paper that I got at Tuesday morning back in the day. And it has the words cinnamon, nutmeg, um, sugar, allspice, um, you know, as well as garlic and tarragon and oregano and chives and stuff. But I just thought this was cute. And I cut it out so that the allspice and cinnamon and ginger and cloves are at the top. And I thought this would make the cutest little card. And you could just have all like the gingerbread family on here um, and make a card with it. And I'll show you, I had two different ideas. I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go yet or if I'll use these in tags. But I thought it would just make the cutest little card like so. And you could even take some white ink and kind of make it look like there's flour around the outside. But I just thought this turned out so, so cute. And uh, it will make a really adorable card. And you could also take um, like a, a cover, and I've done this before, um, where you make a cookie box. And so you can pop this up with some um, clear mylar or whatever and then make a little cookie box with them inside. 
So I'm not sure which way I'm going to go, but I thought I would mention this paper in case any of you have this in your stashes from um, your shopping at Tuesday morning. And this was, again, probably purchased years ago, several years back, um, because Tuesday morning's been closed since uh, COVID hit here in the um, all of our Tuesday mornings in this area closed. So um, I don't have access to that store anymore, but this is something that I had gotten years ago. So anyway, that is the gingerbread dies. And um, in case you're wondering, the finished sizes of these dies are four and a quarter, three inch, and 1.75 inches. So those are the measurements um, for those of you that are interested. And uh, they're just such wonderful, wonderful die sets. Um, it's a wonderful die set. I love both things. The hair dye is so nice to have, and uh, you can always take uh, glue and glitter and uh, glitter up the hair, too. So uh, a lot of fun to play with. For those of you that maybe don't have a gingerbread die set yet, uh, this would be a great one to purchase, and it has all three sizes for you, and I love that they're the open frame dies. So lots of fun. Um, and I'm going to set that right there so you can keep looking at it if you want to. And then um, there is another uh, die set that she is releasing today. And uh, I'm going to show you that. Let me get it out here. Um, it is this uh, dancing penguin die. And uh, I, Kathy sent me some art of a card that she made. And the way she colors everything is so incredible. I am not half as talented as her. Um, but I did have fun uh, making this die set up. This is a plate die, and what I did was I cut it in black. I, I put a piece of black on and cut this part in black, and then I took a piece of white cardstock and I cut everything in white because you want to glue the white piece to the back of the black piece. So you're going to cut just this piece in black and then everything else in white. Um, you could also cut it all in black, and then you'd have the ability to pop things up a little bit because you could layer the white pieces on top of the black. But however you want to do it, it's a very easy die set to use and you end up with this adorable penguin. So I created a little penguin card. Oh, and let me mention the finish size of this is 3.2 inches by three inches, okay? So the finished um, card looks like this and uh, it says, you're the coolest. And that You're the Coolest Sentiment um, is from this Peachy Keen stamp set, which I shared last year, I believe. And it's PK1975, The Polar Bear and Penguin Sentiments. And this is the one that I used, You're the Coolest. But there's also, there's a lot of different sentiments in here. I'll, I'll just kind of scan it so you can see it. And I also use this Merry Christmas on the inside. So there's also this one that says, Here We Come A-Waddling, and I think that would be cute too. So just a really fun stamp set. I used that. Um, I used these Studio Katja Pastel Rainbow Confetti to add these little um, blue uh, confetti dots on here just to kind of give the card a little bit of sparkle. Um, I used this Lil Inker Designs plate die, which kind of looks like snowflakes to me. And this is one of the original plate dies. Um, from back in the day, Little Inker Designs is no longer in business, but I still loving, lo love using Laura's products. Um, so that's what you see in the background here. And then the oval dies that I used are the Pretty Oval Layer dies from My Creative Time and the Pretty Scallop Oval dies from My Creative Time. So um, these were from her last release uh, and uh, the video that I shared two weeks ago, I believe, um, shows the entire release if you're interested from My Creative Time. So it's MCT D422, the Pretty Scallop Ovals, and then MCT D421, the Pretty Oval Layer Dies, okay? So I use those, and then if you're curious about this adorable penguin paper that's in the background, I thought I would share um, where that comes from. It is from this paper pad, and it's actually a paper pack, it's not connected, but it's a 24 sheet um, designer crafting papers from Polka Doodles. And it's called Snow Time Like Christmas. And I believe, what year was this? This was a couple years back at least. 
Um, but this is one of my favorite types of paper pads to buy for Christmas because what Polka Doodles does really well is they do a cross reference of snowy icons in each of their paper pads. So like here's a snowman piece that I already used part of. They do text. Um, they do a really good job of, of giving you lots of different icons in the paper packs. So like here's this heart one. Here's one with reindeer. Um, here's that beautiful penguin paper, which is what I used on mine. Aren't these penguins adorable? And uh, so, and then it repeats, but there's also like snowy hats. There's gingerbread in this one, um, trees, polka dot stripes, more snowmen, and then a plaid. So I really like their paper packs, and when I can find them, um, uh, it's one of my favorite uh, papers to use. So that is the pack that I used, and again, this is this is at least several years old, you guys. I'm not sure. I wish they had a year on here, but they don't, so I can't really help you with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that is the paper that I used to create this, and then I used a Spectrum Noir Illustrator turquoise pen to color this in to just kind of pick up on the greens in the background, or the blues in the background, rather. Um, so uh, I just think these little penguins turn out so cute. I did take a blush pink marker and I just added some pink to the cheeks and uh, onto the wings just a little bit at the tips. And then I used a white gel pen to just add some detail to the feet. Um, and uh, I just think this turns out so, so cute. It's absolutely adorable. Easy to, easy, easy dye to put together and uh, really, really fun. And um, I just think this card turned out so cute. And then I did use a piece of the, the rest of the paper on the inside and I just stamped the Merry Christmas. And uh, I put a piece of uh, snowflake paper on the back and I haven't added a stamp to the back of this yet. <clears throat> I was just getting too tired, you guys, so I had to take a rest. <clears throat> Let me drink a little more water. So those are my Technically, these are Saturday makes because I made them Saturday afternoon and evening, but I'm uploading them, of course, on Sunday. <clears throat> I hope that I get to um, see what everybody is creating this weekend, but it might not be until Monday or Tuesday of this coming week that I actually get to watch everything. Um, I am supposed to work this evening, so... Um, I hope that you guys all have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Sunday, I guess I should say, and uh, and that if you're interested in these wonderful products from Peachy Keen, um, this adorable little dancing penguin die, or the wonderful gingerbread set, um, that you'll go and take a peek. And also, don't forget about all of their wonderful um, face sets. This, of course, is the Jill's Favorites assortment, um, which is one that I did with a different face to fit all the different gingers that we have in our industry, the different ginger dyes, as well as some snowmen. Um, so lots of different ways you can use this set, but Peachy Keen, Kathy and Dave have tons of different uh, face sets in their store and uh, lots of different things to, you know, on offer for those of you that maybe haven't been to Peachy Keen stamps before. But th this is the new dye set. It's called the Open Ginger Dyes and Frosting Hair Dye. And it's uh, PKSD011. And then the penguin is PKSD013. And it's the dancing penguin dye. So those are the new products. And of course, you can also still get Jill's favorites in her store. So um, thank you guys for tuning in to my little episode of uh, Saturday Morning Makes and uh, on a Sunday. <laughs> and um, uh, thank you to Sue for my beautiful card. Where did I put it? Boy, Sue, I just can't keep track of that card, my dear. There it is. Um, so thank you to Sue for my beautiful card. And uh, I hope that you guys are all enjoying a wonderful, wonderful weekend, okay? Choose joy. And I will be back with you again for another video regarding a release that's coming up with LOTV, which is the Lily of the Valley stamps in the United Kingdom, okay? And in the U.S. on Etsy. All right, I'll be back. Bye now.